Hello everyone, my name is Sochka Bhatt. I'm a researcher from Mongolian Bird Conservation Center. I'm also working as a coordinator of Chokbird Station. First of all, I would, and it's an honor to participate in this conference and I'm very excited to share our experience with you. Today, I'm going to talk about shorebird ringing activities at Chokbird Research Station in Northeastern Mongolia, uh, based on the result of two years monitoring. Okay, let's start. Uh, Chokbird Research Station is coordinated by the Mongolian Bird Conservation Center of Mongolia, which is one of the leading non-governmental organizations in event research and conservation to Mongolia. We have been doing shorebird monitoring since 2019. It's Chokhle, cooperating with Eastern Mongolian Protected Area Administration, uh, Chinese Academia of Forestry, Beijing Forestry University, and Hanzhou Yuhai Technology Company. Our study area is located in Donut Province, Northeastern Mongolia, also in the buffer zone of the Mongol Tagore Strictly Protected Area. There are numerous points uh, scattered throughout the dry steppe of eastern part of Mongolia, which are significantly important places for migratory shorebirds and water birds to use as stopover sites during their migration periods. The studies on the similar lakes in this region have shown that Chok Lake has keep its water level consistent during the dry years. For instance, the Chok Lake is included in World Heritage of UNESCO, the Man and Biosphere Reserve, Ramsar Convention, Important Bird Area, Tauran International Protected Area, and of course, it's 58 species of shorebirds have been caught in Mongolia, but we have very lack knowledge about them. The main aim of the station uh, carry out long-term sustainable monitoring of breeding and migratory short populations of Chok Lake. In order to reach this goal, we're doing following three activities. We're using five mist nets to catch shorebirds and settle down them at northern part of the lake. First picture shows that the location of the nets and we're taking morphological measurements and banded them by blue over green flag on the right leg and metal rings on the left leg. The Chuk is a quite small sized lake, so it's possible to monitor and identify most birds to investigate their movements and migrations. A methodology has been followed that transmitters do not weigh more than 3% of the total body weight of each individual in order to prevent negative impacts to bird health and movement. The first main activity that we conduct in the station is shoreboard ringing. The last year, we did a pilot survey and achieved good results. Our results shows that the Chok Lake is sustainable monitor, uh, stable for monitoring. Uh, in 2019, we started our field survey on the 19th of May and finished it 15th of June in spring. On this period, we banned 70 individuals of 16, uh, 16 species of shorebirds. In this year, we started on the same time and finished it quite early than last year. Then we banned 71 individuals of 14 species. Uh, in both years, the most common ring species were the red-necked stint, the monkey stint, common red chunk, black-tailed godwit, and marsden pepper. In this year, five individuals of five hours at newly ringed in station. If you can see the graphic, you can see that in Chok Lake, spring migration of shorebirds was highly active between late May to early June. And last year, we worked between 16th of June to 6th of September in autumn season and banded 3,037 individuals of 27 species. In this year, we started our survey two weeks later than last year and finished 26th of August. During this period, we banded 197 individuals of 26 species and the Pacific Golden Plover and pin snap snipes were newly banded and stationed. In both years, the most commonly ringed species were common red trunk, marsh sandpiper, wood sandpiper, uh, sharp-tailed sandpiper, and black-tailed godwit. The graphic shows that the peak of autumn migration of shorebirds in Chokhlik is late July to early August. Here is the full list of banded individuals in two years. 
during this period, we totaled than the 605 individuals of 30, individuals of 33 species in two years. Over 60% of them have been trapped between 4 to half past 5 a.m. In the next section, I would like to talk about lake, lake observing. As I said at the beginning, the Chuch Lake is a small size lake, so it's impossible to monitor and identify most birds by telescope. We counted the number of individuals every day. Uh, in 2019, we conducted over 32,000 individuals of 151 species. And this year, we counted over 73,000 of 166 species. We conducted the census, covered the whole species in the lake, not just shorebirds. From this table, you can see the whole list of recorded shorebird species. In the whole country, 58 species of shorebirds have been recorded and 36 of them recorded in Chuch Lake during our monitoring. Our next main activity is shorebird tracking. In two years, we tracked 41 individuals of nine species of shorebirds by GSM-based transmitters and still analyzing their migration data. We also have been conducting invertebrate study of late, cooperating with Mongolian Academy of Science. We collected invertebrate samples from seven sites of four biotopes along the lake to determine species composition in the first week of September. And the collected samples were identified at the Laboratory of Ornithology and Entomology, Hydrobiology and Physiology. We identified 3,200 individuals of invertebrate from 14 families of 10 orders of three classes. We divided samples into four different shore habitats, such as gravel site, rocky site, running water, and muddy habitat. And the number of specimen were significantly different in the, each habitat. The largest number of invertebrates occurred in muddy biotop, biotopes and same as number of counter shorebirds. In addition, we also provide local people about, uh, about our work to promote bird conservation and training local students. In this year, seven students of four universities work good in the station and we hope it will be increased in the future. Uh, finally, please keep an eye on our blue over in grad green uh, with two letter flagged birds. And if you want to know more about our tracked birds from Chochlik, please join the following presentations. Tomorrow, our colleagues will share about migration study of black tail with Godwit and the Asian Dorager in Zoom room number two. Thank you for paying attention. If you have any questions, I would please to answer them.